Oh, and I've shared a lot of hog stories in my time. This is my favorite without a doubt. Happy 30th anniversary, Razorback fans. 30 years ago, Arkansas became the most dominant team in college basketball. To celebrate, we went to Fayetteville and the home of the coach leading that squad. Join me now. Take a trip down memory lane as we go strolling with Nolan. McDaniel will end it in style. Arkansas is in hog heaven. It's the moment that's imprinted forever in the hearts and minds of Razorback fans everywhere. In his own Hall of Fame room, surrounded by memories, I wanted to know if Coach Nolan Richardson had any idea back in 1993, at the beginning of that season, that his team would be national champions. I wasn't looking at the big picture up there. I'm looking at what's tomorrow. I constantly talk about, let's give it all we got over and over again. But there was a moment when he had to know he had something special, December 2nd, 1993. Well, they, they amazed me in the game against Missouri. You know, that was kind of the opening of Bud Walton Arena. And for us to come out and perform like that, I think we won by over 50 points. Here's a team that goes undefeated in the Big Eight that same year. The team had speed, good shooters, size, depth, and this was Nolan Richardson's mantra. No one outworks us. And maybe that's why Nolan was intent on showing us this. My favorite all-time pitcher is something that I preached so much and I didn't know a guy was going to take it literally. Clint McDaniel actually shielding the eyes of a much taller player to prevent a pass. This guy by 6'8". He, and McDaniel got him down to four feet four. And that's why 40 minutes of hell became so, so prevalent because that's what it was all about. We wanted to give every team the same punishment. His style was a combination of effort plus unpredictability. I'm not in the box. I don't coach in the box. I'm out of the box totally. You don't know what the hell I'm going to do next. And he didn't want his team to just play. He tried to get them to explode. I bring you in, then I let you run. Did they ever make you angry? All the time. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, don't think I, I don't think I ever walked on the court when I was as happy as a jaybird. <laughs> Through the end of 1993, this is what Nolan Richardson saw. The swagger, the, the confidence, the, you know, they, they had everything going for them. They were not afraid of anything. They entered 1994, number one in the country, and ended the season that way because of the shot. One on the shot clock, Thurman beat it. Oh, he got it, three-pointer. Oh, do I ever remember I looked up into the heavens and said, thank you, Lord, and thank you, Yvonne. His daughter, Yvonne, has a shrine in the fame room. Leukemia had taken her seven years earlier at age 15. And, and that's was the first thing that I thought about. We got it for you, babe. We got it. But that night, he didn't have time to reflect. Instantly, Coach was surrounded by euphoria. I think the, the part that was unique for me is to have a sitting president to come and shake your hand and hug your neck. He would coach at Arkansas for eight more years, only to be fired by athletic director Frank Broyles. It was a sloppy, rumor-filled parting of the ways. And yet, Nolan Richardson still lives in his ranch home in Fayetteville with his wife, Rose. I had to know, why would he stay in the place where he was fired? And his answer may very well be his legacy. If you run across a good person, there's some more to be found. And, and I was able to find those good people. And it made it so much easier for me and Rose to say, this is home. How about that? Nola Richardson has been inducted into 25 Halls of Fame. The court at Walton Arena is named for him. And his only regret, he told me, he didn't win two national championships in a row. He came so close. But we're not going to forget that one, obviously.